With the release of the TED series, we now have three TED projects inside of the TED franchise. So today I thought it was time for me to stop and rank all three TED projects in the franchise rank from the worst to the best. Please know that everything that I will say in this video is just my very own opinion. My name is SW Nation and you are free to comment down below your very own ranking of the TED franchise rank from the worst to the best just like me. Or you could just do your favorite. Please don't forget to check out that Twitter and that TikTok. That link is in the description. With all that being said, guys, like, comment, and subscribe. And let's get right into our ranking. Kicking off our list at number three is Ted 2. We get more stupid hijinks of Ted and John. I think their banter and friendship in this movie is well enough. And for years, I thought this was the better and funnier one. But more jokes does not make it better. For the most part, we have all of the crass humor and more celebrity cameos. But in order to get that stuff, we had to take away some actual story. It goes from Ted's marriage to wanting to give Ted a child to Ted going to court then Hasbro gets involved, the guy from the last movie, and on top of this, John is reduced to the loser he once was before the ending of the last film, completely undercutting his arc. When it gets to the debate of if Ted is a human or not, it quickly becomes less interesting to me. If the first film was live action Family Guy, the first couple of seasons where Seth was involved, this is that too, but definitely the later seasons where the humor is hit or miss and the episodes are the bottom of the barrel filler and Seth is just completely departed. My runner up at number two is the Ted series. I don't think I've laughed this much at a show in years, not even Peacemaker. I didn't have much excitement for it, of course. I was interested because it's Ted, but... It wasn't a day one for me. Once I binged the series, though, I found that Seth MacFarlane still kind of got it. He left Family Guy years ago, so his absence is blatant in the later seasons, but this show feels just early seasons of Family Guy. I love how behind every episode there's wit and story and the comedy actually lands. Young John does a great Mark Wahlberg impersonation, and I love how every character in the family has some unique detail about them that makes them different and nuanced, but Ted is still the standout. Every episode had me laughing, every episode had a twist. It's just surprising this show is actually as good as it is. Seth MacFarlane saved all of his good jokes for this one season of television, and I hope, hope that we get a season two because how successful this first season was, there's no way we don't get a season two. But coming in at my number one is Ted. The, this movie is just awesome. Uh, yes, it's raunchy. Yes, the idea of a foul mouth teddy bear smoking pot is out of left field, of course. But Seth MacFarlane finds some way to make this movie more genuine than it needed to be. Ted is alive, yes, but he's actually a metaphor. A living personification of John's childhood. And the way Seth kind of displays that on screen is incredible once his childhood dies once ted is ripped apart and his cotton is all over the ground once his childhood dies his fears go away look at this scene right here i love the fact that self showed that and it's really truly it's one of the master classes of filmmaking there it's not just blatant in your face it's subtle. The bromance is well written and the comedy is spot on and while this movie is just live action family guy, the story is weirdly poignant. It should not be as good as it is. The first Ted film has to come in at number one. Alright guys, that is it for the ranking. Please know that everything that I did say in this video was just my very own opinion and you're free to comment down below your very own ranking of the Ted franchise rank from the worst to the best just like me or you could just do your favorite. Please don't forget to check out that Twitter and that TikTok. That link is in the description. And with all that being said, guys, like, comment, and subscribe and I will see you all next time. Peace.